Welcome. And today in this series, we're going to learn about a relatively new framework called FastAPR. It's assumed that you know Python and let us start with programming. FastAPR is getting lots of popularity on GitHub, which as we can see here, is already has 18k stars and is getting pretty popular day by day. I highly recommend FastAPI. So why FastAPI? So let's go to the FastAPI framework. Here is the docs. Basically use this as a reference guide and talks about FastAPI. It's fast, robust, relatively lightweight and has great simplicity. Now enough talking and let's begin. I have Visual Studio Code open. Use any code editor or text editor you prefer. For this project, this includes main.py where we, where we write our code. Before we start, we need to install our dependencies. If we don't have something installed, then install here. So we have virtual env. If we don't have virtual env installed, don't worry. You can install it now. Virtual env is optional. I'll be using it because I don't want to install all my dependencies globally onto the computer. Now I'm just going to make a virtual env. And this may take a while. And then I'm going to activate my virtual env. Source env slash scripts slash activate. It may differ depending, depending on what terminal you use. Then we're going to basically in a virtual env, we're going to install our main dependencies. We're going to install fast API. Then we're going to install UV coin. So basically, UVCorm is to create our ASGI server, which is basically going to run our FastAPI application. We're just going to execute pip install UVCorm. Now we are ready to start writing some code. Now we're in main.py and basically we're going to start by importing the FastAPI class. Why? Because we need to import all the necessary functionality. We need to write this web application. So we just do from FastAPI, import FastAPI. Now we have to create an instance of the FastAPI app. This will basically interact with all the things in the API. I'll name it app. You can name it anything, but app is the most common way to go. So FastAPI. Technically, you can just name it anything. Now I'm going to do the app.get. So you sh it's um, probably assumed that you know um, HTTP methods, get, read the data. Basically, what this does is that it handles the get method for the URL, the at app.get. And a URL is basically um, our regular URL, the slash. And then we're going to make a function, async. A basically means asynchronous, basically. We're going to make it asynchronous as fast API also can be asynchronous. It's a better way to just do it this way. It's not like 100% required at this point, but it's just better practice. We're going to name our function hello world, name it anything, but we're going to keep it related to the topic. I'm going to return a JSON response and I'm going to return it in a dictionary, which will be converted into JSON. So I'll return it into hello. and then world. Basically, we're returning this um, dictionary into a JSON response. We're handling the URL, which is the get method, and then we're making our function. Now, we're gonna run our, um, our server. And it's very simple. We just do uvcorn main at minus minus reload. What does this mean? Well, minus minus reload basically means if we have any changes we need to make, we can just reload the page or server. Main is our main file and app is the instance we made earlier. That's really important how we made that app instance. And uvcorn is what we used to call it. We run that and we can see here. So I made a mistake. It's fast API. 
So let me fix that. So run that again. And we're going to go follow the link. And hello world shows up. This is just getting started. In the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about Press API. Thank you for watching, and I hope I see you in the next video. And please subscribe.